Hello there, Taurus. Welcome to Zentero. My name's Julie. I do a reading for you, Taurus, for the last half of June. Let's see what's going on with you guys. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons, Taurus. And this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Taurus anywhere in your chart or if you're just checking in on Taurus. You're all welcome here. Absolutely. It just might not resonate with all of you. Taurus, what is going on with the sign of Taurus? Spirit, tell me about Taurus. Be bold and make the first move, the cardinal moon. Well, Taurus, you're all about being bold. <laughs> and a new start is coming. I love that. The new moon. And we've got the new moon in Gemini coming June 18th. Yeah, June 18th. So something new coming for you, Taurus. Brand new cycle coming for you. Yes. What kind of animal spirit guide is up in the ether? Ooh, the starfish. Look at this. Very resilient. Taurus, you are so resilient. You've been through so much. The sign of Taurus has really, really been through a lot to grow us, to um, have us heal over and over again, because we are just quite masters at that. It's almost muscle memory now to heal, isn't it, Taurus? I'm a Taurus son, so I totally get it. The energy has been so harsh, but look at the learning that we have gone through. Look at the wisdom. Look at that third eye opening, too, happening. I mean, Taurus, you can just see so much more than the other signs because of the uh, resistance and the challenges and the really harshness that was coming to you. I know it has to do with astrology too. And um, we're coming into a very, very lighter, much lighter, luckier phase. I think Taurus is, oh, look at this with sorrow coming out. Yeah, it has been tough. Taurus has been tough. <laughs> and nothingness. It was better to go blank, right? It was easier to clear your mind, to, to just let all thoughts go than to try to um, clear your mind because all of that torture would come in. All of that sadness would come in. It's like these memories just reminding you how hard it was, Taurus. Just, I get it. I know. Let me go. <laughs> Darkness, let me go. Look at the darkness, though. Look at the new moon, that dark, dark moon, and then the no-thingness and the sorrow. It's just been a period of harshness. But that is over. That is done. Coming into a much lighter uh, era, new Taurus era of lightness and happiness and luck. A lot of luck coming toward you. What's on your mind, Taurus? What are you thinking about? Tell me what you're thinking about right now. Reciprocity, because that's been one of the tough things. It's it's the give and take, the uh, receiving of everything you've been giving out there. You're such a beautiful healer, Taurus. You give of yourself to others. You are um, very, very much giving of yourself. So it's time to receive. It's absolutely time to receive. Time to regrow. Time to replenish here. What led up to this? What led up to this reciprocity for Taurus? What led up to this spirit? Four of Swords, the rest after the wounding, after the battle here. You've got some scars to prove that. And the Five of Pentacles. Wow, God has been tough financially too. It has not just been tough in the relationship area. It's been really, really tough securing your finances. And uh, no matter how hard you work, you're such, such a hard worker. But it was like trying to plug up the dam and those holes just kept coming. Those repairs or those... Uh, uh, big money items just kept coming and just kept draining you just kept emergency after emergency it was so that time is coming to an end that is really really um, time for you to go into that house of peace now <laughs> to relax to be able to rest to be able to take that deep breath there's still some some crossroads here there's still some decisions to be made but it's so much easier when you're not being stabbed in the moment to make those decisions so you're really coming into um, some light here oh Taurus light will find you always and your resilience your determination your endurance has led you right to it and you are so much stronger for it you are such a powerful being at this point now so beautiful healer Taurus I see a beautiful healer here what is the let's look at a challenge what's the challenge in the mind space the lovers, <laughs> those intense, intense uh, relationships, because you have been through them. You have absolutely decided 
uh, to experience the intensity of relationships, that soulmate energy. But there's something about a crossroads here, Taurus. You're in decision mode. You're trying to decide something that feels a little bit hopeless, like you're almost afraid to uh, dream here or, or uh, afraid to um, hope. But um, some, something's coming. Something's coming really big for you to really move you out of this darkness, to bring you into this more um, powerful being where it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what people throw at you or what people say to you or what people do to you. Um, you're just so powerful now. Wow, wow, wow. Real, real power here, but you're coming into some, some kind of decision. Mm, what's this decision about? What's that decision about? Ooh. <laughs> Death. Death and rebirth. Wow. Dang. Massive cycle ending here and a beautiful beginning here. So that's what you're trying to decide to do. You're just like you're making this pact with yourself of never again. I will never be brought down to the depths of this darkness again. It, it just can't happen. So you're just making this peaky promise to yourself <laughs> that I will be reborn. I will be reborn. I will find the light. I will find hope again. I will dream again. Oh God, Taurus, this is beautiful, beautiful. You're gonna, you're about to get everything you want. You're about to get everything you've been dreaming of. You've been in this dream state. You've been in this wishful, um, really hold on. If if I can just hold on, maybe one day I will get what I want or I'll get what I deserve. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me about the heart space right now. What is Taurus feeling right now? Very determined, very determined with the King of Wands, this fire energy coming into the mix here in the heart space. It's like, I'm done feeling sorry for myself. I am done um, uh, uh, remembering of how hard it was. I really have to let that go. Really have to let that go and start trying to decide how easy can it be. I've done the hard part here. I've done the growing. I've done the uh, looking at myself here. And I've gone through a massive massive personal transformation wow it's just like you couldn't get here without that though it, it was so important on your path here it was so um, important to push you here because spirit knew 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 that you are one of the strong ones that you are one of the capable ones and other signs had they have been pushed to this point here it, it they would have broken or maybe maybe uh, they were and it, but it broke them it broke them Ooh, it wounded you. It really wounded you, but it didn't stop you from hoping, from daring to dream here. It just didn't stop you. What led up to this King of Wands energy for Taurus in the heart space? What led up to that? Oh, God, Taurus, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, yeah, that's what led up to it. But look at that with that bird in the window with that brand new sunrise and the hope of a new day dawning here. It's just like you never gave up. You just never gave up. You never succumbed. And I'm really, really proud of you for that because life can get very crushing, very um, crushing. And at any point, I know sometimes you felt like you, you couldn't get back up, that it was just, it was too hard. But there was a part in you, there was a feeling in your heart, a, a uh, uh, an inkling that um, if it can get this hard, it can get that good, it can get that bright, it can get that joyful. The other side of this is going to be amazing if I can make it. <laughs> and you're right. You're right. Oh, that birdie is singing. It's like, uh, tell me some good news today, birdie. <laughs> What is the challenge in the heart space? What's the challenge in the heart space for Taurus? Wow, Taurus. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, there you are in all your glory, Taurus. The Hierophant comes out, this elevation, this rising up, the letting go of the <clears throat> fundamental beliefs here so that you could rise and you could gain the understanding, not just continue to ask the questions. Wow, 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 there's just something dawning here for you, something beginning here for you. And it is um, so deserved, so deserved. Yeah, I love this, I love this. What's the future feeling for Taurus? Future feeling for Taurus. Spirit, tell me about the future feeling. 
Four of Cups and the Hermit. Oh my God, Virgo energy coming into the mix. <laughs> Ooh, Taurus, you're waiting for something. You know you are owed something here. You know that there is absolutely an enormous payoff for what you've gone through here, for what you've endured and how you've helped others and how there was always a helping hand from you, even in your darkest hour, even in your uh, darkest moment, you always held that hand. It's like you and the universe. I swear to God, I just see this pinky promise between you and the universe. If we can get through this, we can get through anything. And you did it with death here, Taurus. You did it. You're rising up now. You, you have fulfilled your part of that promise to the universe. And now it is time for the payoff. It is time for the rewards here. Whew. Yes. You're so strong. You are so strong. It's just like the universe is cheering for you now. It, it, they just know that they, you know, there's this kind of feeling, I'm feeling this, where you are on the precipice here. You are on the leading edge here because you're in the physical form. And you have this huge band of energy around you, the spiritual energy around you that has been there all along. But at the times when you felt like you were at your rock bottom, when you were all alone, they couldn't step in physically to help you. And so they were trying to lift you up with energy, with pure positive energy here in those moments and that's when this promise was made that's when this pact was made in those darkest moments of yours I promise you if I can get through this um, I will be rewarded I will thrive now I will thrive now and that's exactly what's being given to you now is a chance to thrive right? It's like you're the minimalist now, or you're the survivor now. You did it. You get to um, live in this peaceful little oasis that you've created for yourself. It's like, um, it's like this beautiful paradise that only you can appreciate to the depths that you are appreciating it because of the journey you've been on. And that is everything to you because the universe is there with you. Spirit is there with you. Your guides are there with you. Look at that owl in the tree there. I just noticed that. <laughs> the guides are always with you, Taurus. Always with you. Just And you know it. You know it. It's not like you're oblivious to it. Look at this on the bottom of the deck, Taurus. That tower energy. That's what I'm talking about. It's like you had to witness your entire life in this tower just crumble down and it was all part of it that's that moment after the fall after the demise after the chaos where you made a promise and you fulfilled it you did it's been a while now that you've held up your end of the bargain and now spirit is holding their end yes oh i love this What's in the foundation? What is this all about for Taurus? Tell me about this in situation for Taurus. Seven of Cups. Look at all the options now. Look at all the choices now. It's just like it's totally up to you. You're in the universal store now. And Spirit is saying, take your pick, Taurus. Take your pick. What do you choose? <laughs> what led up to this? What led up to this? The sky is the limit, Taurus the hanged man. You waited, you waited, waited, waited. That happened with the four of cups too. You went into waiting mode. You said, okay, I did. I did my part. I did my part now. And now it's time for you to do your spirit. Now you've got to hold up your end of the bargain here. And they are, they are, they're stepping in. They're allowing you to rest. They're allowing you to make these much, much easier choices. They're not these uh, crucial, crucial choices like you had to make in the past with the lovers and death up there. Ooh, all right, what's the challenge in the situation for Taurus? Challenge. The high priestess. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. She's trying to get out. She's trying to get out. She's trying to uh, reveal herself to you, Taurus, because it's in the cha challenge position. But you are so well equipped now to read the signs, to read the energy, to read the cards, to read uh, uh, the the. The, uh, your heart, your heart now. You know how your heart deals with things now. You really know how you react to things now and who you are in those moments. You really found out who you were in those moments of harshness there, Taurus. So, boy, you are truly, truly standing in your true authentic self now and you can see all. You can see all. You're very psychic, very, very gifted here. And manipulating energy 
uh, in the finest, finest ways. You truly are a magician right now. And, and um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. You're such a healer. You are absolutely a healer. Somebody out here who's listening to this reaches out their uh, energy. It's like Reiki healing, but they're very, very powerful at it. They're are, 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 uh, like very gifted at giving others their energy and being able to maintain their own at the same time with the hermit energy. It's like the hermit is just all encompassing somebody. You're just healing so many people, and then you're you're able to to. Uh, uh, hold on to your own. Hold on to your own. You can continue to do this. You're very, very good at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, so beautiful. This healing power that you have. All right. What is the future situation for Taurus? Tell us about the end of June for Taurus. What does the end of June look like for Taurus spirit? End of June. Page of Swords, wow, really getting your word out there, getting your messages out there, people hearing you, people picking up on those messages. They're very unique. You have a very unique way of saying things or a way of doing things here. And people picking up on it. The word's getting out. Word's getting out about you, Taurus. There's no stopping it now. Spirit, what's your advice about this? What's your advice for Taurus? Look at that with the devil. The Devil, Justice, and the King of Pentacles. Oh my, Taurus. Wow, 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 wow. People are going to become almost addicted to you. I gotta see if anything else flipped over in there. People are gonna be becoming almost addicted to you and your words and what you have to offer now. They they don't even get it themselves. It's like they, they find themselves thinking about you or your words or what you did and it's very tempting. You're very tempting to others. Justice, there it is, some kind of absolute higher decision coming in now. It's like, it's time to reward Taurus now. It is time to balance this out now. We are giving this verdict now. It's time to, to give the verdict to Taurus now. <laughs> and look what it leads to. Look what it leads to, the King of Pentacles. I mean, the payoff is unbelievable because it's going to be touching your heart, mind, and your soul here. It really is a magnificent, magnificent feeling of being taken care of, having that safety net, having that fallback net, no matter what happens, that the universe has. It's like, you, it's like uh, you've got the whole world in your hands now, and you just, whenever you fall back, the universe has you now, Taurus, and you just, you feel that safety net underneath you. But there is some words that you have to say, some things that you are doing, some healing. I think it has to do with this healing power that you have. Maybe you're a doctor, maybe you are a doctor, but people are so, um, um, addicted to it, addicted to you, addicted to you. They can't stop. They can't stop thinking about you. So you have something, some kind of platform where you're revealing this healing power of yours and it really um, is warming and soothing to others. It really heals. It really, really helps to heal. Two of Wands. Look at this decision mode you're in now. Planning, planning. Ooh, I love that. I love that. What next? What next? You're almost eager. You're almost eager to jump from this dark into the light here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Taurus. Just so, so deserved with this major arcana and this death and rebirth here with the lovers. Oh my God, I'm just so blown away by this. This elevation of yours out of the dark. Let's get some clarification for the end of June. I want to see why we have the Four of Swords, the rest here, and the Five of Pentacles, and the uh, feeling left out or... Uh, in the lack. What's this lack that Taurus is thinking about? Taurus is thinking about it. Six of Pentacles because you're not getting that reciprocity right now from work, from your career, from what it is you do during the day. It doesn't feel like it's um, paying for what you're doing here. But you know what? It is going to be really, really pay off because you're coming out of this cycle where you were being very unseen, very unheard. And that was part of pushing you toward this independence, toward the spiritual um, revelation, this opening up, this third eye, really, really opening up. And this adaptability here, this being able to grow back when someone uh, snaps your limb off and you're able to grow it back. You're like uh, the superhuman now because of it. So you're going to start getting a lot more recognized in the workplace, in the career place. People are going to start turning their heads and seeing what you do, really appreciating what you do and how much you get done in such a short period of time. So you're really, really uh, becoming valuable to a workplace. 
and I can I can just feel they could not do it without you so you're gonna start getting some reciprocity in that area you're gonna start being paid for actually your services here and your skills here so that is quite beautiful quite beautiful there's uh, a real uh, push for reciprocity to you to you here what is this rebirth about in the mind space Four of Cups, because you were apathetic, you just didn't care anymore, you weren't. How could you put forth the effort when you were not seeing anything come in return here? So you just got very, very tired of filling uh, those cups just to have them be the same three cups emptying over and over and over again. But Spirit all along, there's that pact that maybe you didn't understand you, you got into here, but they've been filling this bowl, but it's been too overwhelming, too hard. But now that the energy is easing up for you and the stars are changing, for you. Uh, boy, you're going to turn your head towards and you're going to say yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. <laughs> you're going to be so happy. <laughs> All right, tell me about the uh, hard space here. Let's look at the hard space. We know the pain that led up to this, but I want to see this elevation. Why is the Hierophant in the challenge position, though, Spirit? What's so hard for Taurus to elevate out of? What is so difficult right now? The tower, the tower, of course. Because <laughs> how can we? How can you just transform into the butterfly when it's so painful? It hurts so bad. It just, it's so hard. You can't. You can't just go from the dark to the light. It doesn't happen that way. It's this progression out. It's this baby step out of it when we've been so wounded and so hurt. It's not like you're down on the uh, war battlefield bleeding out and you can just jump up and run to the doctor. You have to first breathe, take that breath. I'm here. I'm alive. What's hurting me? What is wrong now? And you have to assess, right? You have to assess the damage. And so that's what you were doing. You were assessing the damage here. But my God, my God, once you got the uh, spirit answer that you were looking for, the uh, revelation that you needed to get up off that ground, um, you, you're off and running now. You are off and running now. And uh, yeah, you become this uh, leader by example now because as you are healing, as you are telling, uh, as you are healing, because people are coming to you for some way, shape or form for healing. So as you are doing that, um, you give them hope because they know you're very open with what you've gone through. You're very candid. You're very open. And so they feel that from you. They can resonate with you. They can relate to you because they know you've been there. It's like a, a psychiatrist who's um, got all the answers because they went through it, because they went through it, not because they read about it in a book or they knew someone who knew someone and that helped. No, they did this themselves. They have transformed this way themselves here. And that's who you are now. That's who you are now. So you're very relatable. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me about this hermit. Tell me about this Virgo energy. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there it is again. You're very psychic. Very, very psychic. Very in tune. You can feel the energies now. You can manipulate the energies now because you have this, this pact between you and spirit. And um, it's a continual connection now. It, it cannot be um, severed. It cannot be severed. Very powerful. Very powerful just kind of at this crossroads right now it's like it's like this is just happening here or you're just looking back and finally analyzing what was lost here or what you've gone through here maybe you went through this numb period I'm seeing that with the four of cups where you were really quite numb for a while and after this shock and awe that happened here so I think you're coming out of that it's almost like a hibernation awakening like you're you're just you're assessing now it's like well shit what did I lose there I'm sorry I swore I don't usually <laughs> what did I lose what did I lose and you're just assessing that now and figuring that out but what is to be gained has become so much more powerful for you. It's like you have control of that lightning now, where before when it was coming down, it was so much out of your control. But now that you have this masterful experiences behind you of what the dark means, what that, what that even means, the dark night of the soul, now that you understand that, you have so much more control over the power of the energy, the, the, uh, the way it comes at you and the way it flows from you. You have so much more control over that. Whew, Taurus, this is very powerful. Let's look at the situation. Let's look at the foundation for the last half of June. Let's see, let's see. Tell me about this high priestess. What is this healing energy coming from Taurus? 
What is that all about? We've got the High Priestess twice here. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, the world, a brand new cycle. Wow, I cannot believe how powerful you are. I am just amazed at this power from the darkness, from the chaos here. <laughs> Jeez, Taurus is beautiful, 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 brand new cycle. Brand new, you're not numb anymore. You can absolutely feel and feel well beyond the reality here, well beyond the 3D world here. You are feeling, you've got these feelers out there. It's because of that pact you made. It's all because of that pact you made. Oh, Taurus, I love this, I love this. All right, any last advice? What, what words do you have, Spirit? What, what advice do you have for Taurus? Judgment, I <laughs> love that. Six of Wands, King of Wands. So look at that. Your stardom is coming. People are picking up on what you're doing. I think it is this healing. People want to be healed. And they know that you did it yourself. You healed yourself here. So they want that magic potion. They want that that um, understandings that you had. Unfortunately, you, you only can go through it to understand it. And I think you understand that, Taurus. You know that. That you can't tell people how to get how to get through that because it's a very unique, a very personal process. But we all have this personal process. So if you can help them to find their personal process to get through this kind of transformation, I think that's what you're doing. You're relating to them on a level where they understand, okay, I can't do it the way Taurus did it, but I can do it my way. And I just have to find what that way is. And you're helping people to find what that is beautiful judgment i mean this has been called from you this has been a this is a calling of yours this is part of the promise part of the promise is that you will help people through these dark 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 uh, moments that everyone goes through in their lifetime and um help them find their way their way to deal with it their way to elevate out of it and become this leader like you so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Look at the major arcana, Taurus, my God. You've got the moon and the justice to end it off. You've got justice here twice. This is this is God's calling. This is Spirit's calling. You, you had to go through that to get to this level. It was like you were the attorney and now you're the judge. You've moved up. You've elevated up into that next threshold. Now you have a higher place of authority now. You have a higher seat of authority now. God, it's so powerful. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. All right, at the bottom of the deck, Two of Swords, you're just right at the crossroads now. You're right at the precipice. How do I do this now? How do I just propel into my thriving now? Because I'm ready. I am ready to thrive, and it's been promised to me, so... Oh, Taurus, I love this. All right, I'm going to leave it here, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you stopping by and watching. Let me know what you think. Leave me a comment if you can, and I will definitely tune in with you soon, Taurus.